fun. So, in terms of you guys being on Holy Raw's war uh, list, right? Yeah. How does it feel to be on one of the most pioneering labels Britain's seen since, I don't know, fucking whenever? <laughs> What's that been like? It's, it's really quite, yeah, it's a oh, really, really, as exciting as it is now. Yeah. Yeah. I, think yeah. Like I mean, the... this is the first time on a Charles climbing frame. But Actually, I should have brought Lego. I got my Lego in my bag. Do you guys want to Lego? Yes, 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 yes. Of course you do, Dan. Of course you do. That's it. Luke, bring my bag, sir. It's around the corner. It's around the corner. Oh, this is nice. I'm glad like everyone's like taking their shoes sort of off thing. as well, which I is feel really like good. Well, got me respect. For yeah, you got me. Thank you. Yeah. You do need some respect. You no, do need some respect. I, I have children, oh, right. so you know, I know what it's like. I have children somewhere. Don't. <laughs> somewhere. I, I, I assume <laughs> there's going to be somewhere. some some I point, isn't it? Seed. <laughs> Indeed, quite right. Last time I guys saw you, it was at Arctangent, and you guys fucking slayed it. Thanks. Do you man. prefer playing in the country or the city? Oh, that's such a big question. It is a big know, question. It's an important question. There's so many different things like logistics, you know, getting to the place, is, loading man. in, loading out, accommodation, yeah. all of that sort of thing. Oh. I guess we can relate it to where we played, was it Doom versus, no, Doom over London, where we played at the Dome in Tufnell Park. Mm. We loaded into the Dome, then we were told we we're playing in Aces and Eights, so we had to load back out, go across this sort of busy London road, crossroads, yeah. all of our cabs, load down into this tiny cellar. <laughs> so related to that, Definitely, definitely in the country. Yeah, so. it's a little bit more room to go absolutely yeah. fucking bananas. More really. parking as well. Especially so much more parking. You can park anywhere, exactly, literally yeah. anywhere. And you can piss anywhere as well, <laughs> if you so wish to. Ah, uh, there, here we go. Just, want what if, I want to bring the whole entire bag up. Bring the bag through. Bring the entire bag. So, they since I have, <coughs> yes they do. We're all getting bags of Lego. We're going to just talk. Put you know, Lego together. Put Lego oh, together, have a great oh. time with it, you know? This is the best thing. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And we're joined here by, by the one, one and only Luke. So, everyone gets a little lucky dip of their own we can't say the name of the said company that goes into it, but you know, they're called Rammy Blocks. Building, the <laughs> Building blocks. Bro Blocks is what going to be called. There you go. Brown. Yeah. You've got to do one. I, I, apparently I do, but you know, that's another conversation for another time. But yes, so I've heard the term Holy Raw Whore being termed around quite a lot. And this is a super fan now that has been deemed, I literally, I heard it for last night. I was chatting to someone about literally loving the bands that have been coming out of Holy Raw that includes mm. yourselves and it's almost been like a, a cultural phenomenon that this label is one of the most important things ever come to the British Isles in a long long time I have to ask a very simple question what is it like to be part of something so incredibly amazing with it how did it all come come about yeah definitely like the um, past few years that everyone that we've spoken to is just like so interested in what Holy Raw's doing and yeah. the band so you know we're very fortunate to do it it's it's shocking because like we was just like oh this is a label that's kind of mm. into what we're doing but we didn't realize how much people were into what they were yeah i think mm. I, I was um discovered highly raw free rollo tomasi i saw them play live yeah. in the underworld when i was like, 17. Um, mm. i saw them support horse of bands who was a big fan of um, and i've they just blew me away yeah. i've looked into it realized they're on highly raw looked mm. into other bands um and that was where I'd sort of got a first taste of them. Um, just like Slab Dragger, I think Conan released something as well. Mm. And Bastions was kind of the big sort of hardcore band when I was really into that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so I'd been following them for quite a while. Mm. Um, and then when Paul turned around and said, Alex from Holy Raw is, is going to be watching us at a Black Heart gig. Yeah. I sort of, yeah, lost my shit. That's a I hell of a, that's a hell of a venue as well. Yeah, I saw yeah, Kundra yeah. there the other night with, oh, oh that was delicious. So I was like, life. it was like seeing the eyes of God and he tells you <laughs> that he was disappointed in you. It felt great. <laughs> Have you seen was, the uh, Kundra video? The, uh, the one in the countryside with no, the ginger no, no, lady. Right, I don't know if it's new, but uh, no, I like it's new to one. me. The one that you can move it around, like you can. Oh it, like, right, yeah, the 360 yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting thing that, that I, I was talking to them about because that's a, a really simplistic but a really good idea that's mm. been like that's been using the technology that we've got at the moment. You yeah. know, making a long, making a short story very very long, but you know, <laughs> taking something that's really quite the VR ness of it is. Fucking phenomenal! I was just wondering, yeah. like, I, I was, I was actually, I asked them that question. If there was an album, right, not necessarily had to see it live, like they, the, what they did, but imagine like a film that's been made of your favourite album that you could watch in VR. What album would that be? I would say Enema by Tool. I would love to see that in VR. Just go through that entire, what, like, 
about an hour, something of that, of Enema, and just watching that in VR. There's a, be crazy. There is a online Dead Kennedys recording there. Uh, I don't know which mm. album it is, but a, a quite an early one, mainly yeah. in God We Trust. And mm. um, from start to finish, mm. they're actually recording it and playing it live at the same time. And it's on YouTube, just type it in. Mm. And it's like spot on everything because it's what you hear. Yeah. So incredible. That's, and that's awesome. Great. So that's like a bit of history recorded. Mm. Yeah, love that. That's, that cool. that's awesome as well. I remember but talking. Do you mean more in like a like the a story small, of the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like okay. So what live show would you love to see in VR? And in terms of like, let's think of this more abstractly. In terms of your imagination has been put onto VR of your mm. favorite album. You know the journey that you go through when you when you listen to your mm. favorite record. It's like what would that record be? And if like if someone like put that into a physical mm. form onto VR, you can look around, you can interact, you can touch. Stop, what kind of world? Kind of world could you go into? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'd uh, say um, Stone of Witch by the Melvins, it's like my favourite album. Yeah. And uh, just, I, I can't Houdini even imagine. Like as well. I listened to that the other day. I'm not as a huge fan of Houdini, mm. but uh, I thought uh, Stone of Witch though, like I'd love to see what that would look like in a mm. visual mm. What concept. Like, uh, I'm a big Beach Boys fan. Mm. Um, and after watching sort of films and documentaries about the, the recording of pet sounds, I'd love to have sort of a VR version of yeah. the whole time of Brian Wilson doing this thing right in the center of the recording studio, see different sort of musicians that he brings in, instructions to give them and stuff like that. Yeah. That would be quite inspiring to see that, you know. Yeah, no, like, absolutely. Fresh. Fucking yeah. A, too right. <laughs> and, again, <laughs> and again, as I'm quite curious about what Ohm's gonna bring next to the table, uh, given given the fool's been out for a quite a while now. Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and it's That's going as we really, it's old news, yeah, man. Yeah. Fuck that bro. Jesus. Yeah. Man we cannot be hot. <laughs> <laughs> is what is what's been tingling your kind of musical direction there now because I know you guys are very much into like your destructiveness of humanity of like nature versus nurture and stuff like that and everything that goes with it and especially your music video as well I remember talking to you like, last time about that with just like you know monsters of the deep coming out through I love that kind of stuff man yeah. it's fucking great uh, so what's on the cards for, f for future homes there now. Oh, I mean, uh, I was going to say the ne next album is our Animal Rights album. <gasps> that was originally the title, yeah. but we've, uh, yeah. I, what have we changed the title to now? I think it's... <clears throat> <laughs> 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 it's going to be cooler. Yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so quiet. Um, it's going to be called Exist. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, so that's the and first time we've said that. Yeah, yeah, we haven't mentioned that before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're in a safe yeah. space here, guys. Yeah, it's thanks. all good. It doesn't, it's, fine, it doesn't, it's not going to move from beyond this safety cage. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, so and, and this, and this said, uh, just ignore the camera. It's fine. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's quite good about it. Yeah. Like, Ohms Exist, but when you like hashtag it as Ohms Exist, it's I'm sexist. <laughs> I'm sexist, yeah. That's pretty good. That's Don't some clever them. marketing Isn't right it? there. Look right. at that, Sam. Look at that. that. Don't get the wrong Glorious. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hardly going to get the wrong. I mean, I don't know. I'm very impressionable and I'm very gullible at the same time. Who knows? I might start the exact same hashtag. So don't blame me if you're just like, you, you son of a bitch. But That's it, our idea. <laughs> guy's good. You're going to be making the records. <laughs> but like animal rights kind of thing, I know that's been like a passion of yours as well. Because yeah, uh, two out of two, two out of three, two out of four of you here are vegan. Is that correct, or is it like? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Um, Max is thinking of uh, crossing over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been ashamed really? For quite some time, and I've, I've started looking. Into We're gonna wrap it, so. this up. Yeah. What, what? How long are we talking about? Well, she just said wrap it up. Oh, wrap it up. Oh, criminals. So we've got, we've got uh, so we've got animal rights going on at the moment. That's phenomenal. What yeah. do you guys? Are you going to be activizing? Uh, like, are you working with anyone like Sea Shepherd or anyone thing like that? What's yeah. the? We tried to if she's. Um, did they want, not yeah, want they're both Sea Shepherd we're not, we're didn't reply. Hmm. Uh, about Sam Carter? We've surely you'd be interested. Uh, yeah, there's there's a few in Sea Shepherd that wanted to, but the the big guys were mm. not sure. So mm. we've got Animal Aid. Uh, that I contacted Animal Aid and yeah. Sea Shepherd at the same time. Animal Aid were well up for it. Yeah. So they're, that's they're awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I tell you what. Yeah. My my dad is a retired lawyer. He became a dustbin man for a year, and now he helps rescue dogs. It's got the West. Uh, I want to shout out to the West Wales Poundies. Right. What they do wow. is they save dogs uh, or on death row from the police. What so basically, so yeah, no, no, you absolutely should check them out. They're, they're, it's a free uh, non-profit organisation. Uh, you can check them out on Facebook and stuff like that. Right. Uh, but you know, it's they what they get, what they do is on the um, when a dog gets handed in uh, to the police, unfortunately, no, to the pound, they don't get a week. 
to survive. And what they do is, on the last day, if they don't get handed in, uh, is they go down and they adopt them and they bring them back to the sanctuary so they could get rehomed. It's really good. You should That's totally check it out. It's yeah. absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Guys, I've had a lovely experience I've in here. Yeah. That's f oh, yeah, look, at that, look, at, look at that, Look at look at look at that, look at that. Oh boys, I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud. <laughs> Look at you. This is you need to have these on your amps later on so we can so the entire make, world can see. We get this. to keep these. Of course you get to keep them. Oh, yes, wow. absolutely. You get, you get to re, you know get to keep the instructions, you want to build them on later on, you know? It's nice. completely up to you. That's, That's all yours. Though so I do think that they all need to go down the slide. We all need to go down the slide. Can we get a shot of everyone going down the slide? Me first, though, yeah, flat. There we go. <laughs> no, thank you very much. That way, it's been, been, this is, hey, this has been a namaste. <laughs> this is, oh, those are mine. Yes, indeed. And this is my bag of tricks there as well. There we go. Like us, tight us. This is how you be classy. Are we going to play? That looks like my fifth marriage. Oh, this doesn't look like much fun. I'm quite happy about this. I just want that on the record. Can we get an all for Ramsey and everyone for an all Ohm's photo, please? Oh, I savvy. Think Stu so. just got here. <laughs> <laughs> This is his first gig. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. No selfies, I know what you're like. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Do you want it against that or not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, it needs, it needs to be. Yeah. It needs to be. With all the builds as well, you have to show what you've made. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm just doing a uh, uh, film. The documentary. Yeah. I mean, this show. Everyone smile. No, it is. Basically. All right.